Beginning Blackboard Training, Lesson 1, Accessing and Navigating Blackboard. To get to Blackboard, put blackboard.mobapp.edu into the address bar of your browser. We recommend Firefox for using Blackboard. You can get it for free at www.mozilla.org slash Firefox. Your username and password for Blackboard are the same as you use for the faculty portal, for your MBU email, and to log in to your computer in your office. Once you've logged into Blackboard, you'll see the My Institution screen where you'll find My Announcements. This lists all of the current announcements and all of the courses in which you're enrolled, those that you're teaching, those in which you're a TA, and those in which you are a student. Next is the My Courses module. This lists all of the courses which you are currently teaching, in which you might be a TA, or which you are enrolled. New course shells become available to faculty 60 days before the start of the term. New course shells become available to students on Friday before the term starts. If you see a course listed on your blackboard and it says unavailable, realize that is for the students, not for you. Course copies and developmental shells can be requested by emailing distancelearning at mobap.edu. You can do this as soon as your new course becomes available to you on blackboard. To get into your course shell, simply click on the link in the My Courses area. This will take you to the main the Announcements area is where you will post announcements for your students. By default, it is the entry page for you. On the left is the Course menu, where you and your students will navigate. The slashed box indicates the button is hidden. A gray box indicates that the button is empty. Buttons are not visible to students until content has been added to them. Use the Edit Mode button to toggle between the Student View and Instructor View. When you click Edit Mode Off, you will see the student's view of your course. Notice how several buttons have now disappeared from the menu at the left. This is because they are either empty, thus hidden by default, or they have been purposely hidden by the instructor. Putting Edit Mode back on switches you to Instructor. In the next few lessons, you'll learn how to post a syllabus, post an announcement, post faculty information, create assignments, create tests, and much more.